Hello and welcome. This video is, I'm going to try to do a, a bunch of little short videos on this, uh, showing different aspects of it. Uh, but we're going to be looking at doing like horizontal line breaks in your in your shell script. So basically, um, let's say you have some text and you want a little divider. Kind of like in HTML, you have the, the horizontal line di uh, divider. Uh, we're going for something like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. Of course, with echo, you can put whatever you want. And we can say echo and we can do a little line divide like that. Uh, we can do the same thing with printf. Thing is, we want it to be the entire width of our screen. Now, we could use printf like this. Uh, we could do something like uh, printf, and then we'll do percent in the number. We'll say 10s backslash n for a new line at the end there. Uh, and then we can, if we do that, we don't see anything. Basically, it gave us like 10 spaces. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a command like tr. We're going to say tr is used to uh, transform one character into another. So here we're saying, OK, take the output of this, which is 10 spaces, and then replace all those spaces, in this case, with a dash. So we get 10 dashes. We can do whatever character we want. We can do dollar sign. So there we go. Uh, so how does that help us? Well, you know, that way we don't have to draw out uh, everything in there, but it's not really, it's, it's not easy, as easy to remember. So don't worry about that right now. We're going to get into that in a little bit. Clear the screen here. Uh, we're going to look really quick at another program. I've done videos on this in the past before called TPUT. So TPUT, it is an external program. You do need it installed. Uh, it should be in your repositories for most distributions, but TPUT uh, gives you a lot of options on basically what's going on in your shell and getting measurements of stuff and placing stuff certain places. But if we say TPUT space, uh, Coles, short for columns, is going to tell you how many columns or how many characters width your shell currently is. So in my particular case here, it's 111. If I decrease my font, we should get a higher number. And if I increase my font, we should get a lower number. With that, we can use the output of that command to get our screen width and use it within that printf function. So we can say printf, just as we did before. Uh, then in here, we're going to say percent, and normally we'd give it the number there, but we can use dollar sign parentheses to run a command and use the output of that command, in this case, t put columns. Uh, we're going to give spaces and then finish that off with a new line character. Uh, and if we do that again, now it just printed spaces all the way across the screen. You can't see them, but we are now going to use tr to transform those into dashes. Boom. So now, if I resize my screen, run that command again, it puts dashes the full width. I can make it really small, and that still puts dashes all the way across the screen. So no matter what the width of my screen is, every time I run that command, it will put whatever characters I want across the screen. Whoops. Of course, I have to give it some sort of character. Plus sign, equal sign, dash, underscore. So we can have all these different type of characters being printed, regardless of whether my font's big, small, I'm in a window that's resized. When we run that function, it's going to go ahead and fill in those characters the width of the screen. That's it. We're going to do more on this uh, coming up in the next video. I hope that you uh, are enjoying this and hope you continue to watch this series. Thanks for watching. I hope that you have a great day.